Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are here once again on the couch with your host, Super Vega, and we've got some incredible talent. It's actually our first time that we're bringing on some visual talent, and I'm really excited for it. So I want to get us started and bring on the one and only Nate. Have a seat. Join us. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. <laughs> so tell the people a little bit about Nate. They, yeah, um, Nate is an artist. Um, it originated through graffiti, and uh, I've gone in trouble a couple of times for it. <laughs> Underage, clean record now, but uh, I'm trying to turn it into something like inspiring. I'm um, branding the heart, which is pretty much a symbol that everybody can relate to. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just trying to you know do something positive. You look at it, you feel good. You know what I mean? It expresses like energies and. And that's about that, but um, yeah, just trying to brand it and uh, keep uh, staying motivated. You brought uh, you brought some artwork mm. on today to show us, um, and I was digging it because like it's uh, it's pretty solid. There's a lot of nice color going on. Yeah, so like, this is this is um, actually I got some tags just layered behind it. Got the outline. It's pretty simple. Just you know what I mean. Some splash here, splash there. Um, yeah, man, just trying to do do what I do legally, you know what I mean, and uh, hopefully uh, everybody likes it. What are some of the things that inspire you? Because there's a, um, there's a lot going on here. Uh, mostly uh, old school graffiti, um, trains, writers. Like it's just a, it's a different culture than you can like explain to the normal person. It's like an alter ego almost, like Batman. You know what I mean? Like the man behind the mask, like. I did that, you don't really know who did it, whatever, you could like it, you could not like it. It's just basically just me expressing my art. That's I it. Dig that. Now this is this is part of a bigger set. We're gonna I'm gonna try to bring on the whole set onto yep. the couch. Does this go on the left or the right? Uh either or. Either or uh, right. so put that one there. I'm gonna move this one right over here. So people could get that the full experience. And uh just like what were, what was uh like this? Like I said, this was, actually I think this would look better on this side. What we're here adjusting another man's art now. Like this like right here, hand. this middle one. <laughs> this middle one got smiley faces, frown faces, money mm -hmm. signs. You know what I mean? You, your heart might oh, I smile. Didn't even that. Look at that. Your heart might smile and might cry. You know we all love money. Uh, the pie sign, which is infinity, we all need it forever. You know what I mean? Got some drips in it. It's pretty, you know what I mean? It's just splash here, splash there. But uh, it's not though. It's not like, though. A lot I know. Like, yeah, I put it on. Yeah, I've like, done this. I've done it for years. It's like it just comes out, you know what I mean? And I'm fine like putting it on canvases, not somewhere on the street where it can get, you know, me in trouble or like taken away, taken off. You know what I mean? It's just documenting it and pretty much just keeping my mind going. You know what I mean? Staying, staying motivated, staying focused. Now, are these art pieces that you sell to the public? Or I do sell them, this? yeah. Um, I got connections with like some galleries in Miami. I know a bunch of people out there, LA. I mean, you can add me on Instagram, whatever. Yeah, they, they're, they're all up for sale, for sure, yeah. It's the main goal, getting some big galleries, you know what I mean? So you've got some connections out in Miami and LA. Are you originally yeah. from here? Or... Um, <clears throat> I was born in Providence and grew up in California, San Jose, the Bay Area. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what, was that, what was that like? <laughs> that, I mean, it's like a chapter in my life that's pretty much like I flipped. It's almost like I didn't read the chapter again. It's like I, I, I moved so quick with my situation in my life, what was going on, like family things, whatever, whatever. And just like the next day, I lived in Rhode Island. You know what I mean? And I, I didn't know. Rhode Island was like, what is this place? It was crazy, man. But yeah, I, I love California. And uh, I, lo I love Rhode Island too, man. It's, it's my birthplace. But um. Yeah, I'm just trying to travel and do my thing. Like, so what are the what are some of like the aspirations and goals? Like, what's the goals? Um, high end galleries in Tokyo, all over the world, and psh, get wealthy. You dig that? You dig that? Do you have any pieces that you're working on now that? Uh... I actually whipped these up last night because all you the did this last night. Last night, man, I had all the ones yeah. that I've had freaking <laughs> sold, so I I didn't have any together to even bring really. So I went out, bought a couple canvases. Bought a couple of colors, freaking worked on those, and those are the ones that I got up for sale right now. But I just stay busy, constantly just selling them, promoting them, networking, just 
whatever way possible, you know what I mean? I can dig it. I can dig it. It's mm-hmm. definitely, uh, definitely a pretty cool way to, to bring out your inner art. Yeah. Because like I said, this is the first episode that we have with uh, we can't like really visual show heart, you know what I mean? Yeah, visual representation. And a heart art. can brand something. I heart Nike, I heart Adidas, I heart this show, you know what I mean? It's like, so yeah, I'm trying to really push it, so. I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Thank you, it I appreciate it. I think, I think it looks pretty I solid. I appreciate so. it. Like, so outside of art, do you do anything else besides painting? Like, um, yeah, uh, I skateboard. Um, I, I dibble dabble on everything, man. Pretty much, like, that's about it, though. No job at the moment. This is pay, this is paying. You know what I mean? Paying Same. bills. Hey, whatever, whatever makes it work, right? Yep. Yo, so I, I used to skateboard, and uh, I remember yeah, trying to go down. Yeah, I told my ACL, man. <laughs> I should. I could have. Yeah, I probably could have been a professional, man. Uh, ACL's worst. Never. Uh, I didn't have no insurance, no nothing. It screwed me. So I went to the old graffiti. That's so that's crazy. what we're working with now. That's crazy. I'll never forget one time I was uh, playing around on like the old porch that we had, mm-hmm. and I tried to like do a handstand from the stairs onto. Oh the yeah, board. that's like some. I completely that's some missed. Suburban yeah. shit. You know what I mean? Like you don't got no skate spots, so you're doing handstands. So you trying to do whatever you can. Yeah, you know? nah, hey. I missed. I don't know how I survived. I swear, I fell right on my neck, and it was just, it was a wrap. There was yeah, no coming back yeah, from no, that. Give up, yeah. It's not so you don't skateboard anymore? Oh no, I skateboard. Yeah, totally. That's like you know, I got. That's a good network for me too. This the skateboarding culture, and uh, yeah, push around the skateboard for sure. Um, not as much as I should probably, but. So I'm glad we were able to get you on the show. No, nah, definitely, man. Thank you. Dope art pieces. Like, I'm honestly... Appreciate it. I'm at a loss for it. Like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, appreciate like, it. And in all honesty, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, man, it like, it looks solid. I can see the heart. I can see the color. Like, there's a lot of emotion going on. But then when you broke it down, like, I didn't yeah. see the smiley faces and the frowny yeah, faces. Yeah, there's, 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 like, there's some hidden things like, in there, whoa. man. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty solid. Yeah. So is this piece going to be up for sale, or are you going to hold yeah, on to this? Yeah, that one's for sale. All these are for sale. It's, it's available, people. Yeah. So you know what to do. How can, on Instagram. How can people get to the yeah, again say, underscore hearts underscore you? Perfect, perfect. So you guys already know, man. If you need some dope art for your house, this is the man to hit up. So yep. one more time, make some noise for my man Nate. Came out here and brought out. Thank you, bro. <laughs> some incredible paintings but if you've been following along you know what time it is we got to bring on our musical guest and today I have the pleasure of sitting down with the one and only Jay Nova and he brought on his entire team to help him produce all of his music recently so I want to make some noise for my man Jay Nova what's up Jay? <laughs> what's going on Mr. Vegan? Cool. how's it going how's it going hey it's, it's going good man things are always good on this side of the world as far as I'm concerned right <laughs> So yeah, tell the people who don't know who you are a little bit about you. So, the name is Jay Nova. Uh, Jay from Providence, Rhode Island. We're putting off from our city, you know. We're configuring a, mu- a movement. We're trying to pursue bigger and better things, you know, trying to motivate the youth, motivate those that think there's no other way out other than the streets and other than violence and stuff like that. You know what I mean? We're trying to push music into them, push creativity, push dancing, push anything that's positive, you know what I mean? And, and it's, it's gonna put them on a better road, you know? So, um, I can dig that. Long story that. short, you know, it's, <laughs> it's positive, you know? And, and anybody that, that has the same mindset that we have, just like yourself, you know, it's, it's like a collaborative movement. So anything you need, we're here. Perfect, that's, that's what I'd say. So how'd you get, how'd you get started in music? Uh, I started when I was younger, um, actually, uh, I grew up in church, you know, my father's, uh, my father was a minister, you know, so he's a pastor of a church since I was seven years old, singing in front of the church, playing the drums, then evolved into playing the piano, you know, so I always had the, the musical black background and um, just grew from there, you know, it's just multi-talented Jay oh, Nova yeah. on the couch right now. <laughs> Big time, you know, we traveled to Cali, you know, uh, to Georgia. Uh, lived in North Carolina for a while, and then I ended up coming back here because this is where, the, you know, this is where your first love is at, you know. Hey. <laughs> uh, 
Might Word. Well. So you, you brought on some of your some of your team, right? If you want to just introduce them real quick, so everybody knows who they are too. Yeah. So we have over here, uh, Mr. Founder of WGP Production, uh, Mr. Alex Gomes. Hey. We have Mr. Larat, a uh, predominant singer in, in his lane, you know, unstoppable, great artist. <laughs> and we have uh, Mr. Beef himself, uh, Beef ENT, you know, he's the one that kind of like motivated me, kind of like told me to, you know, like get your foundation, kind of like molded me so I could, you know, get to where I'm at now. And he's been, he's been pushing so <laughs> so you you've been pushing Jay to, to make some moves, huh? Yeah, yeah. Word, word. So like, what uh, like how'd you how'd you come across Jay? I was actually scrolling through my uh, Instagram feed one day, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I see and I seen it was like he was always singing, uh, doing something different. He had his hair different. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing like I seen before. You know what I'm saying? So I actually hit him up on Instagram. I was like, I'm digging your style, your your flow. I was so trying to get in the studio. <laughs> Words, man. And I was like, you available to go to the studio? He's like, ah, oh, yeah, I get in the studio with you. He was like, I kept persuading him. It was like two weeks later. He's like, yeah, I catch up with you, get in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a month later. It's, it was a month true. later. That's the worst part of like, like, what's right? up? Let's get in the studio. He's like, all right, I got you. Let's get in there. We went in the studio, man. He laid down like 10 tracks. We stayed in the studio until like four in the morning. Within five, a week. Uh, within like within a week's a week. time. Just... Just, just kept just working. Banging them all. Work. So Bang you got a mixtape or something working, oh, yeah. you're working on right now? Yeah, okay. we're about to release it on iTunes, nice. Pandora, uh, his new video. We're about to put it on MTV, VH1. Oh. So oh. we're working. You know that's that's going to be some good stuff. That's going to be some good stuff. So where, the, where did the, uh, Laurent, right? Laurent and that's Alex fit into the equation. So Laurent, you can go from there. <laughs> <laughs> um... So do I? Do I say how we met? <laughs> I mean, yeah. We, um, yeah. So, <laughs> so me and Jay Nova, we met. We met um, over that. social media. <laughs> okay. And um, I was I was really interested in his in his style and not just in style but his motives, because there's nothing better than an artist um, than his motives and his message, because we're deliverers. You know, we're not just. We're not just artists or a face that you can put on a post board. We're, we're also people with a message. And we met at uh, in the Down City Arcade Night Cafe. I met actually Mr. Gomes as well over there. And I told him, I said, I'm, I'm, my goal is to unite the artistry through whatever talent I can do. Yeah, we had, this, we had this one question I asked him. And I said, why are you doing what you do? Because, you know, we have a strong foundation in, in the team, you know, Team Nova. And I was like... You know, he wants to, you know, collaborate. He wants to be a part, come on board. And I was like, why? Like, what's what's your why? Why are you doing this? Why do you want to, you know, be part of this? Like, what's your reason? And he said, because I love it, you know. And, and he told me that, you know, I don't care if it was if it was no money. I'll be in the street broke. I'll be singing. I don't care. I'll, I'll do it just to make people happy. He, and, and he proved it. We were walking down the street. He started just sit. I was like, "Whoa, this is kind of weird, man." You know, he just started singing. People turn around, this is like, kinda weird. you know, people turn around because he has a strong opera voice. You know what I mean? But yeah, he still has I, that um, soul too. Yeah, I, uh, I originally started with, uh, I think I was about fourteen, taking private lessons, and I've been doing it for like nine years now. Same teacher. I absolutely love my teacher and mentor Tim. Um, I could sing in three different languages, you know, but Damn. I really. Damn. I actually, so I, I too, to I team. too yeah. was actually um, a part of a worship team of a church okay. for like two and a half years, and then I started to understand more of my message, comprehend it, and I needed to find a team that could solidify my grounds and where my my structure is going to be in the future. Right. So, it's which is common on Laurent too, because when I first met him, it was like a mixed bag of impressions. I definitely like his, like his singing style and everything, but like as I got to know him more and see like his personality and his loyalty. And the um, craftsmanship he puts into his work, it really like opened my eyes up to you. Really uh, yeah. landed gold meeting someone like that. Absolutely, really cool guy. And myself. Yeah, I was gonna say, what do you what do you do on the team? <laughs> <laughs> my name's Alex Gomes. So I recently started a multimedia company. This this year, I'd say officially, I, I made it official. But it's always been in the works since in high school. Um, I've always been into into dancing for a while, and that dancing eventually branched out to video because I would edit my own videos, and I really 
like fell in love with the process of editing. I was like, wow, you can like really like edit stuff and put it together. So I got more into the video side. So dancing was the foundation and then it just moved on to video and then like music at the heart, like I found was at the heart for me because I dance because I love music. So I was like, yo, let me just find a way to make music in the best way possible, whether that be through dance or through visuals, just bring forth music in a more beautiful sense as to not just hearing it um, through your ears, but seeing it visually. So that's what really what motivates me to go do that. And um, with Gomes Productions, is a combination of music, dance, and cinema. And I reached out to Jay. I saw Jay on Facebook, and um, <laughs> yo, this is the first social time. Media. Social media is actually doing his <laughs> job right now. Like this is not. <laughs> this is like the project of social media. Is. <laughs> and um, I put no. I think he he added me, and then I was like, oh, who's this guy? I, I checked him out, and I just think going back to beef, his style. He has a distinct style, like almost like a monster to flame. Like he attracts people, then like you actually see what he does. Mm. It's like wow, this dude can sing too. Not only does he look dope, but he sings dope too. So I reached out to him, I, I sent him a video of me and my cousin dancing and he digged it and I was like, yo, we should link up. Originally, like, he wanted me to help him out with his dancing. He didn't, I don't know, we didn't really have much of a discussion about the video, but he wanted me to help him out with his dancing. So I was doing a short film called the Here Dance Short Film. And I wanted to just, uh, I, I was throwing a party at my aunt's house. I convinced her to let me use her house. And I wanted to have like a collective group of dope people and I, and I wanted him to be a part of it. And he helped out with bringing a, a large amount of people to the party too, which was cool. So we, we had the discussion about it. And then eventually yeah, the relationship just kept growing. We just kept doing projects. And that's how what got us to Keep It 100 video, which we just put out about a couple of days just, ago. Just released it, the Keep mm -hmm. It 100 video. That's which I did, I did check that out, which I thought it was, I thought it was pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah, some dance moves was going on. Like, the choreography <laughs> was real. Like, it was, it was a solid video. Solid video. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like an average thing. So right. if, you, if you guys directed that, like, definitely big ups to you guys. Then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely wanted it to stand out. You know what I mean? From I mean, big ups to every other artist from Providence coming out and, and doing their thing. But we kind of wanted it to stand out, not be the typical whole bunch of people jumping in the background. We wanted it to have a storyline. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of like transitioning into something. Like, yeah. what's going to happen? Like, is he going to get the girl for real? Is he really going to get the girl? It's, 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 don't you know don't spoil mean? it for anybody, yeah. but it's a solid yeah, video, so you guys yeah. got to check it out. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't think about the process. It was a very unorthodox production. Um, it's not the way I like to usually go about things, but <laughs> it, it all worked out for the better, though. Like, uh, <laughs> like just like how Jay like envisioned how he wanted it. Like, he had it all up in his head. And I love people that have a vision, because some people, they want to do videos, and they don't really have an idea of what they want to do. So it's always nice when, like, someone who's gonna co-collaborate with you has an idea because then you can just help them make it better like tweak things put things here and yeah it worked out beautifully solid is uh is that the song you're gonna be performing for us tonight yes sir yes sir Word. keep it a hundred it's gonna be real so what was before we before we cut to you performing what is uh what was the motivation behind that song for you because alex um, was talking about you have like you had a solid vision for the video like i said i saw it so i saw the vision come to life and i thought it came out great keep it a hundred motivation this man was the motivation <laughs> <laughs> you know what he told me listen i need a hit he said, I need a hit. Go, we're hitting up the studio. All them songs that you've done, they're good, but I need a hit. I need a hit song. And I said, you know what? I got to give them a hit, you know? So this is definitely a single, you know? It's one of the top uh, songs from the, from the mixtape. And, you know, he motivated me, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, was, I was doing dibble dabbling, you know, with the music. And he, he was like, no, let's take it seriously. We can, we can get somewhere with this, so. That's what we're doing. Or I think I think it's a hit, so <laughs> that's it. So you got my seal of approval. So, yeah, that's all we need. <laughs> um, before we before we uh, go on to your performance, I just want everybody to get a chance to say how they can help people get in touch with you. So we can start with Alex. And, uh, yeah. All right. So most of my, all, all my social media is Alex Gomes WGP. So Alex Gomes is like it's not it's more uncommon than I thought. But if you look up Alex Gomes WGP, all my social media, Twitter, Instagram, everything. All right. And uh, Laurent, um, you can contact me on Facebook at uh, Brad Bryce St. Laurent Jr. And uh, yeah, touch base. Hey, BFNT, BFNT.com. BFNT.com, all my social media links are up there. You know what I'm saying? Twitter, at BFNT. You can catch me on Twitter, I'm always on there. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you staring you know some nuts. I stay out there, bro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's the best way to find me. You know? All right, we're in the last but not least, Jay. JFN Nova, you know, JFN Nova on Twitter, Instagram, you know, uh, Facebook. I do a lot of live videos, a lot of street performances, Day of Street, KP. Um, yeah, J Nova on YouTube, and, you know, Team Nova. Word, word, it's so, it's so I gotta say, man, like these, these are some interesting individuals really doing some great stuff for the city. You heard, you heard their mission, you heard their purpose, and now you're gonna get a chance to hear some of their music. So, 
I'm gonna need y'all to stick around and we'll be right back. gentlemen and it's that time again we're gonna have the one and only Jay Nova go on and put on a show for us so I'm pumped up like I said I already heard the track and I hope you guys are ready for it too so make some noise for Jay Nova <laughs> Started at the door, how we end up in the bedroom I'll put you to work, have you feeling like the rent do? I'm getting you ready while I'm fucking with your mental Now you wonder what I'm trying to get in Round one, round two, yeah we running out of time Only here for one night, so I gotta make you mine Trying to go where they won't bother us I'm the real, there things we gon' discuss Baby girl, you're worth the sacrifice I know it's real, gotta keep it on the real, you know Trying to go where they won't bother us I'm the real, there Saying switching lanes, cause you call it for some more. Feeling uh -huh. on my body, about to lose control. Uh -huh. Feet your feet, trying to cuff it and keep it on the low. Let's get it. Just keep it a hundred, baby. I'm the one you want, cause I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, stop fronting, cause I'm the one you want. I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, I'm the one you're gonna get it on. Baby, I'm the one you um, make a nigga think twice Tell me what it's gonna be All eyes on me When I hop up out the scene, baby Don't play with me Oh, tryna go where they won't bother us I'm the real, this is we gon' discuss Baby girl, you're worth the sacrifice I know it's real, gotta keep it on the real, you know Tryna go where they won't bother us I'm the real, this is we gon' discuss Baby girl, you're worth the sacrifice I know it's real, gotta keep it on the real Saying switching lanes, cause you gotta put some more But I'm feeling on my body, about to lose control If you trip, you tryna cuff it and keep it on the low Just keep it a hundred, baby, I'm the one you want Cause I'm the one you, I'm the one you want Baby, stop fronting, cause I'm the one you want I'm the one you, I'm the one you, I'm the one you want Leave with me when he ain't watching ya Girl, I know you get it poppin' hot Get you right back, cause I ain't cuffin' ya I know it's real, gotta keep it on the real, you know Going over, you popular Give me three rounds, that's why I fucks with you Get you right back, cause I ain't cuffin' ya I know it's real, gotta keep it on the real Oh, I need the rope, insane Switchin' lanes, cause you callin' for some more I'm feelin' on my body, about to lose control If you drift, you tryna cuff it Keep it on the low, just keep it a hundred Baby, I'm the one you want Cause I'm the one you want It's your boy Jay Nova. Let's go. 